Hello. Nicholas here. Uh, you fought four Brazilians already and won four fights. What did you learn about Brazilian fighters that may help you to win another one? Um, I, uh, it's it's difficult to generalize every Brazilian fighter across you know one board, but um, they're very tough and um, they come to fight. Uh, if I had to say anything about Brazilian fighters uh, specifically, that uh, that might be it. And how how special is for you this spot, the co-main event of a, a fight here in São Paulo? It's an amazing opportunity. Um, I really love that I'm able to to now showcase my skills uh, with uh, so much exposure. And uh, yeah, fighting here in uh, Sao Paulo is just, you know, uh, icing on the cake. And it's, it's not your first time fighting here in Brazil, but what can you say about the atmosphere? You know, of course, Brazilian fans will cheer for the, the, the home guy, but what can you say? How do you deal with that? It's okay for you. You can separate things during the fights. Yeah, I mean it's it's amazing. I love that the the fans are so enthusiastic about their their home fighters. Um, every every sports person wants that, so I'm happy for the Brazilian fighters that they get to to experience that. Uh, the crowds are amazing. For me, even though they send negative energy towards me, like um, it's still energy to me, and I for some reason. It just turns into positive energy for me. Kind of lifts the whole, uh, yeah, uh, focus uh, for me and, and makes me want to perform even better. So I appreciate it. Hey, Nicholas. Hey, how are you? Uh, you're coming uh, to this fight with a quite important uh, win streak. Uh, what did that feels in this stage of your, of your career? Um, it feels like I'm uh, seeing the results of a lot of uh, right uh, choices, uh, both privately and professionally. Um, and it's nice to see that those choices are now uh, yeah, shown in my career as well, because fighting is, is a bit different than, than sitting at the cash register at a supermarket. Uh, it's, it's very intense and it's high pressure, so you need to be, uh, you need to have a, a, a such a steady life as possible outside of it, and um, that's what's showing now. Hey, Nicholas. How are you? What's the difference between fighting here in Brazil and fighting in other countries? My experience so far has been the crowd. The crowd is so much crazier in a good way, enthusiastic, uh, it makes a lot of noise. Uh, I really love the climate, I love the people, I love the food. So for me coming to Brazil, even though I'm fighting a hometown guy, I really appreciate it. Hey, Nicholas, how are you? Welcome hey. to Brazil. Uh, you, you're facing a, a very <coughs> uh, jiu-jitsu guy, a specialist in jiu-jitsu, and you've never been finishing your career. Uh, and he told us that he, he wants to get the submission to finish. No? So... How do you, how do you see the, the fight itself against Gabriel, and how do you analyze his performance so far? Well, yeah, he's got a lot of wins on submissions, but who has he faced? Who has he met? Who was really really good? Uh, I mean, sure, he's got he's got the wins, but let's see on Saturday when he gets dragged out to the deep waters um, and gets tested against someone who's fought. This is going to be my 30th fight. Uh, I'm excited to see how easy it is for him to then submit someone when he's on the bottom getting pounded in the face. At this point of your career, after so many fights and, and building your name in the MMA world, do you have, uh, wh what, which goal do you have for your career in the future? My goal is to win my fight on Saturday. And after that, Goal is to get a, a top 15 ranked opponent. After that, top 10, top 5, title. But there's many steps towards these, so it's one step at a time. And the next step is on uh, Saturday, and I'm really looking forward to it. 